Welcome back. Today we're going to be painting Quicksilver from Marvel Crisis Protocol. Uh, you can see like these guys are all like 100% in their comic book costumes just like Wanda was last week. But we're going to be doing MCU paint, paint schemes over the top of them. So let's start with our skin first like we do and just kind of move from there. So what I think I'm gonna do, cause his MCU costume is pretty basic. It's just like a running shirt and stuff. So let's get his face done first. Um, what I'm thinking is I'm gonna paint his hands with this and not have him have like gloves on, have that be like part of the shirt. So we'll see how that looks as we go into this. Um, I haven't planned this out in my head beforehand I just kind of looked at a picture of him like, okay, that's the colors that I need. And we'll try to hit those beats. I don't know if I'm gonna give him those like orange running shoes though, I think. I'm not orange, they're like safety green, which is the color. <laughs> so there's that. It is so hot back here today. Black gray with the pants, just like we did with Wanda. to work around this little we'll keep the lightning bolts because I think they're fine I'm just gotta paint around them We're trying to preserve the white on the lightning bolts if we can, because we don't want to go repaint those. It's okay if we leave the shoes this color for now, if we hit them with the this paint, because I think we'll probably go darker, if anything. Um, we'll see. Plus, I don't even know how to make that color, that like, safety green color. Be interesting to try to figure out how to mix that together. is a little weird to kind of figure out. I'm like, okay, where's the belt? Where's his leg? those little lightning bolts while we can see them and just do your best. I think that covers the pants. Pants, pants. Okay. So now for the shirt, we're gonna do the medium sea gray, but we'll, we're gonna do some like, 
And I think we, even if we painted the whole shirt this color, it's okay for the blue, for the next, for our blue colors to go over. So, we're gonna have to make up some shapes on it, uh, but I think it'll be fine. Where is this? Okay. Just looking at the, the box art to kind of find out, you know, what's shirt, what's neck, and all that. gray here. We're probably gonna do like the shoulders up here. Um, blue. Just to get like those colors into it, you know? Good thing about it is that it has strong lines so you can really pick it out. You can try your best to pick it out. You don't have to worry too much about ruining it. This one I was thinking about, I was like, Wanda was like the first character I've ever done that was pretty much completely contrast paints. Um, it was interesting. Definitely see the benefits of contrast paints. And here we go, we already messed that up a little bit, but it's fine. Make sure I got all of the shirt part before I go into the sleeve here. There we go. That's our gray done. So now he just kind of looks pretty basic right now. <laughs> Now we can add in our blue. We'll use this Prussian blue. I think this is like becoming my favorite blue paint. It's like, a, it's got a nice vibrancy to it and it's not too, oops, we missed some spot here on the gray here. So let's just go in there. Make sure we get all that. Okay, cool. Okay, so now for the blue, we'll get these wristbands. Best not to get it all over everywhere, but holding on to this on this little stick is not the easiest thing in the world. Let me 
just kind of set this here so it has a flat spot to be on. That'll help me paint it, pick out the areas. And the inside there, cool. Okay, so now I want to, I want a better way of, to hold this, first of all, would be great. Like, we're there's something with more meat on it, but it's okay, we're just gonna go up here, we'll paint this panel here, and like the bicep. And then just kind of carry that over. So we get some more of that blue in there. And then we're going to do the same thing to this side. that and then I think if we just do like <clears throat> like a little kind of panel like right here that'll help bring out the the idea that we're going for here I'm gonna bring this all the way down to there. And we just do the kind of same idea on that side. the same approximate size there we go and that gives it more of a we won't do anything to the back there <coughs> we'll quit while we're ahead on that <coughs> Ooh. okay so I think for the boots we're gonna use this dark blue gray because then it'll still be like dark, but it'll tie in with the blue on the on the the rest of the costume and the gray and the blacks. So I think it'll be it's like a good I think it's a good color that we can use here. And it's a separ separation of colors from the the regular. black gray that we're using so you can see the difference in the two parts yeah. or at least that's what I'm telling myself right, we have a little bit of a same kind of foot situation that Wanda had And I'm an idiot. I messed up on the Wanda video. I didn't do the turnaround the new way. 
So my apologies for that, but this one should have it, if I remember. <laughs> it's too much stuff to remember. Okay, we use this, the same flesh color, the same contrast paint we used for Wanda's hair, we're gonna use for Petro's hair. Uh, they are twins after all, right? I know his hair is bleached or whatever from running too fast, but I think the white showing through will be enough. I ended up doing another coat of this on Wanda to darken it a little bit more because it was too too light, but I think being light on him will be okay. You can leave that little area right there. <laughs> okay, that doesn't go up there. Um, we have, we already have our gray out, so we can just take this. I don't, I think this is an explosion or something, but it could also just be like dirt that's been shot up from him just hitting the, just going so fast right away. So we're gonna go for like that. Or since treat it like that, is this going to be like smoke, like dust from him, and I'll wash it with a brown or something to get it all dirty and smoky and stuff. So let's just get the rest of this base all flattened out. Okay. I'll probably include the one to turn around actually in this video with him so you can see them together. So we're using an oil wash now to darken up the, the shirt and really get those separations kind of in there so we can see them better. So we don't want it that much, but just take what we got and then move it around. Especially along like the lightning bolt, so you can get the the harder line there. Ooh. Just move it around if you have too much, or get like a wet brush and or a dry brush, sorry, and then just soak it up with that. Let me get in there just so it's dark in there. I see where the arrow is pulling right here. I don't want that, so I'm just gonna pick that up with my brush. Okay, so that kind of fixed that for us, made it look a little bit better. we have to do I think that's it for him actually so yeah we just got to hook him up to this base which he's like super overhanging on this base um, but it's fine so we gotta put a glue. hit him separate because of his angle that he's at is like way too shallow for to really be able to paint it that great to get the undersides and everything so let's just do take him by his knee here and then should just kind of slide into that somehow like that just gotta hold it for a little bit So yeah, that's him. We'll let this dry and then I'll do some, let's dump some Agrax Earthshade over this and we'll be good to go. So yeah, stick around for the turnaround. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, new videos every Wednesday. Like, comment, subscribe. 
and we'll see you later. See you next Wednesday.